got the fridge and the cupboards as well, and we like to support locals, we keep clean. Thank you so much. Enjoy them. Oh, yeah, don't no, that's it. Three thirty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Seventy. Enjoy them. Thank you. Thirty. Forty. 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 Three pounds for the small, and um, five pounds for the large. There's your honey. Some from uh, Magnus, Eden, Heligan, and Sydney, Rose Warm, and uh, a little bit from the Lizard. Right. That's what we like to see. We used to have a honey shop in um, Nottingham, all different areas we used to sell the honey from. So. This is the health with white, is it? Don't mind. That one? Yeah. Can we have one of those, please? Yes, thank you. Do you want a case bag? Uh, yes, please. Have enough? Yeah. Sorry, I've no less than that. isn't it? Which one's that one? It's the same. Same. No, I'm sorry, we'll share. Thank you. Same, same for someone else. Thank you. Oh. 
<laughs> the leftovers from the samples. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. That was very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. A large pot of cream, please. Large cream. Not clotted, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, that's 170. That's double cream. And pounds of bottles, that's really bad, and I'll pay you back. That's double cream. You have to judge, we pay them all, use them all the time. Ourselves. I won't be coming back, will we? No, that's it. I thought it was cream, cream. That's double cream. Yeah, that's what we want, that's a cream. That's 50. That's 180 altogether. Yeah. Is that all right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice haul from the farmer's market. Yes. A bit of bread, or some bread. Uh, burgers. What else we had? Some cheese. cheese. Some samosas. And some sausages. And some sausages. Did we? We did. I didn't see that. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just come out of the farmer's market, the old cattle market it was, and we're on Coronation Lake, or walking around, we're not on it, we don't walk on water. We're at Coronation Lake in Helston, which was built in 1912, was it, to celebrate the coronation of King George V. Alright, so, and we've just checked because we thought there should be a cash round here, and there is. So we're just going to go and find that, and then back to the van, we'll go find somewhere for a coffee. And the cash is around this old water wheel somewhere. He's just read it, he says on the other side. Not actually on the water wheel, but pretty close by. And this river is a river after your own heart. What is it you want to be? A writer. Yeah. What's another name for a writer? Author. Yeah, it's the river author. Is it? Just signing the log. Seven. Eight. All right, it's Saturday. So. You said it was yeah, well, yeah, it could be. There's a little post that says it's the River Author. Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah, oh, yes, it does. Cornwall, River Cob Coba, River Author. You're laughing at me. I am, because we've just read the sign, and this river author is actually the river Cobra, Cobra, and it's the Cornwall River Authority, although the ITY at the bottom of the sign isn't really clear, so Daryl's thought it's the river author, not river authority. <laughs> of course I'm laughing at you. <laughs> Where are we? We're here in Cornwall. <laughs> And for certain people watching of a certain age, you probably associate Helston with Terry Wogan and the floral dance. And that's us showing our age. Nice park. With a river author flying by inside of it. It's a good job he understands me. I do. Oh, I'll try. Unfortunately, we didn't see anything for you two. We got my camera, camera back. back. 
four lamb sausages in plastic wrapping. I've been waiting for this one, some clotted cream. Some seaweed sourdough, sourdough bread. Mm. Two no. vegetable samosas. And some cheese. Cornish rind washed orange coloured cheese. And two plastic wrapped lamb burgers. That's it. I don't think we'll starve. <laughs> well, we thought it was about time we tried some of our purchases. So we're going to have a bit of seaweed sourdough bread see what it's like while well, we're overlooking the sea. I see weedy. Winner. Mm. Well, when we're in Cornwall, we've got to do our version of a cream tea, haven't we? We have. So, tea ready. made the tea. We got the clotted cream that we got earlier. Yeah. Keith, Keith's laughing at me because I bought strawberry jam. Or strawberry preserve. Conserve. Conserve. And there's the scones. Or scones. I don't know but how to make them. Is it? Oh God. But is it cream first or jam first? Well, I've just been Googling that to make sure we get it right. <laughs> and it's jam first in Cornwall. It's cream first in Devon. I don't think there's one for you really tall. Jam first, say. Yeah. You're looking and learning, so are you going to make these for us? I do like lots of cream. It doesn't matter, I'll have a bigger dollar. And served on a tin plate. What could be better? From the tin mines. Very nice. And before you take a bite, mm -hmm. <laughs> what interesting fact did you tell me about how they make clotted cream the other week? I can't remember. It's actually baked. It's cream. It's uh, then baked. So, and it is very, very nice. Very fattening and very Moorish. Very nice. So as the sun begins to set, and we've got tinted windows, this is what it looks like.
and it makes kids' face glow. <laughs> That's the sun. Cool down a bit so we've got the heater on. Oh, I've got a tired dog there. I don't know whether you can see him, but in front of the seat, front seat, it's always all curled up too. Time for a brew. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin. 